everyone and welcome to the paleo pod today we are going to be guessing what's that paleo are. i've got lakota and dano guy here and i'm going to be choosing well i've chosen three pictures of ferrophoria and they are going to decide what these creatures are and uh, you know there's going to be a point for the right name guest as well we are going to be giving out some interesting facts that might help them guess which one is which are we all ready for our first one no yep. Now I am. <laughs> now, now you are. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this is our first creature. D. Go on, Dana. Whoa. Is that Isaberi Sora? No. Oh. 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 Uh, mm. All right, well, this is clearly from the side of Thyreophora that I didn't look at. Because I did research <laughs> on the Stegosaurus and the Ankylosaurus. I got ready. And I, mm. I have no idea what this thing is. I'm going to be so honest. Are we sure this is a Thyreophoran? <laughs> the skull looks like it is. So I'm pretty sure it is. Just a more. I also do have the it's a more, artist for this one. It's a, more basal, <laughs> it's a more basal member. That's why I went directly towards Isaberisora. Because Isaberisora Isaberi does kind of look like this. But. If this ain't it, ain't that, then I don't know what it is. Yeah, you did say there was a red heron in here. There is a red heron. Is the it? Red... I don't think it's this one. Yeah, but we're talking about thyroid forens, not avians. Yeah, <laughs> red. This definitely evolved into a chicken. Look Wait a minute, it. red herrings are fish, not birds. Never mind. <gasps> Oops. Just ignore that. Just ignore. Ignore I said that. Just just pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I think I said heron. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's like when you said heron, I was like heron, right? Red heron, that common filmmaking trope. Yeah, <laughs> I have. I have no idea. Well, I'm being introduced to a new dinosaur today, so I can at least be happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> You, you got any guess you could throw into the wind? A really fluffy, fluffy Scalidosaurus. No, but that would be cool to see. Um, okay, so you got three, three um, facts I can give to you. So one of them is the size of the creature. One is what it names means, and then the other one is just a a fact which would make this interesting. I might give you a clue. I'll let you I choose. Know. I don't know which one. Um, so we're picking one of these? You can pick one for now, and then the second one you'll get uh, to. No, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge myself on name deconstruction. What does its name mean? So the name means Lizard from La Quinta. Mm. La Quintosaurus? That's probably correct, it, right? It, yeah. It, it, it's close. It's close. It's, oh. it's it's close. It's very close. Oh oh no. Okay. La uh, La Quintasora? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like with the Dora. So, um, yeah. So, the interesting fact about this creature, with it being part of um, the Fyophoria, it's still up to debate. Like, it's still being debated if it's part of it and, or if it's not part of it. Mm. Um, it's about it's three point three feet, which is one meter long, and yeah, its name means from uh, La Quinta. <laughs> 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 any any guesses who the artist is? Because I actually do have the artist's name for this piece Ooh, of work. Um. Oh yeah, let me look at that. Oh, you've blurred it out. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was clever this it's time. It. <laughs> Does it have web? No. Okay. I thought I had webbed feet for a second. Um. I don't know. I. I er... Kind of looks. I could say my. I don't know. I'm out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're you're out. So this is by. Let's. Uh, sorry, I butchered the name, but it's Gabudet. 
Oh, Gabu I've did on butchered that. Gabu did on DeviantArt. I think I've seen some of their work. Oh, oh there we go. You you don't say the name. I I I'm terrible <laughs> at saying names. <laughs> But yeah, I thought this was a really cool, interesting crit. It is. Um, yeah, and the fact it's still being debated if it's part of that family or not. But the artwork mm. is lovely for it. I love like the the like the osteoderms all the way down the tail, and then the fancy headdress. I thought that was a cool yeah. depiction of the crit. That's awesome. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready for the next one? C. Yes. Did you say D straight away? It's not even up there. No, I said C. I said C. I said C. I was like, D. I was like, the picture ain't up there yet. It's like I was so confident. <laughs> so confident. Oh. Well, it's, um, a, it's, a, it's a stegosaur. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know which one, but. It. it... I, was, I can say clues. It's not actually written down my clues, but it is pretty. Um... Uh, closely related to the North American Stegosaurus. Um. It, oh, mm, hold on. I'm trying to remember if I can remember its, how to pronounce its name. Uh. I think I know. This might be the red herring. I think I know what you're getting at. You said North American. Thinking, of, thinking about them, there's two red herrings. How dare you? It's too many herons, man. That is way, that is way, way too many words, man. You'll be able to fill a whole uh, cab. Um, I completely forget how to pronounce its name, or well, for for both of them. Um, but there's like some stegosaurids that look so close to stegosaurus itself that it's being debated whether or not they are synonymous with stegosaurus. Um, I wonder if this might be one of them. Uh, is, was it, was its name? I'm going to absolutely butcher it. It was like, why Riosaurus or something like that? It started with a W. Oh, Wuherosaurus. No. Right I love Wuherosaurus. It's cool. I do like it. I don't think this isn't Wuherosaurus because ah. Wuherosaurus has more rounded and smaller plates. He's yeah, like triangular. Oh, I absolutely love them when they added that to Jurassic World. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. it's it's very nice. I like it. Mm. Mm. He's okay. So, if my memory serves me correctly, isn't there like a possible species of Stegosaurus that lives in Portugal? I mean, obviously, it's like I know what you're getting it's out, greatly. It's... I know it's greatly contested, and it's not necessarily agreed upon. But what if this is that red mm -hmm. herring? Because he said this is really related to the North American Stegosaurus, as in like Stenops or uh, Ungulatus. Mm -hmm. You know, what if like isn't mm -hmm. there like a proposed species in Portugal? I don't know. It's it's, it it's not that one. Okay, if that's where you're going with your mind. Okay, I, so... you proper you proper got ready for this one, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pulling, out, pulling out all the names there. <laughs> yeah. I, if that's not the, if that's not the correct line of thought, then I'm I I don't know. <laughs> I um, <laughs> other than the one I said, I've got uh no idea. Okay. The issue is so, he never confirmed the other one was the red herring or not. I know, right? Dun dun terrified. Dun. <laughs> so, <laughs> the clues you've got is the date when it was identified and described, the um, the length and its height, or the name meaning. Do we dare deconstruct its name? <laughs> I, yeah, we we dare to. I, I I say we go that route. Yeah, the name. Yeah. So yeah. its name means Tuo River Lizard. Yeah. Duo? Duo. Duo River Lizard. Okay. So we can assume that its name ends with Sora or Saurus. I have I'm assuming Tua is a name for the river, but what is river in Greek or Latin? 
I really do like the name of this creature because it's it rolls off the tongue quite nicely. Hmm. I could actually give you. Actually, no, no, I won't. No, I won't. So I might give it away give... straight away. Would it? <laughs> It sounds like a character I do quite like. Sounds like a character you quite like. Yeah. Okay, so not not like a dinosaur. Is it like Tua, like the Tuatara, like that kind of Tua? Yes, it's both Tua. No, <laughs> Tua. <Huh. laughs> I just th- I'm just thinking of the one guy in yeah. the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> he's if he finds this, he's gonna have a field day. <laughs> I don't know this man. Oh it's wait, a difficult one, isn't it? Oh, I think Tua. No, gosh, I hate Tua. Now, now it's got now it's like stuck in my head. But <laughs> this doesn't really look like it. But is it like? To a to a <laughs> is it? This to a look, This don't look like to Jangasaurus. It's, it's, it's like a very old it's paleo art of it. I guess, and it looks brilliant. So it was identified in 1974 and then described in 1977. Which, if you look at the paleo art, it definitely looks like it's from that uh, that yeah. era. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I guess now that I look, I guess now that I look at the plates, they do look a lot more like a Tujangasaurus. Yeah. But doesn't Tujangasaurus doesn't it have like a shoulder shoulder spikes like Kentrosaurus? That's what I was thinking. Uh, this is, I think, again, is a bit like um, if I remember reading. What was the other animal where they're like, oh, it's not, and it is spikes, and they can't d- d- debate what the spikes are. Uh, it's another case mm. of that, I do believe. Okay, where. Mm-hmm. Well, which creature was it where they're like, no, the spikes are definitely part of the rib cage, and then later on they're like, no, they are spikes with shoulders, and then couldn't make its mind up. But huh. they have a, a weird like shoulder like plate almost, if you remember rightly. Hmm. Um which boy well, doesn't I don't want to say it looked like it's got um one second, the anger. I'm pretty sure it's plating. Because there's so much art without the, the spikes. But it mm. does have... Where is it? That's not the one I'm looking at. Or maybe it is. No. Like, one second, I'll send you this. I have a... Because it's a really a cool looking... Uh, hmm? Have a gander, yeah. Yeah, have a gander. I it saving as a proper... Copy image, do that. See if that works out a bit better for me. It's a really old pose for a stegosaurid. Um, yeah, it is. A lot of a pose like that. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I actually really like the plates on its back. Those are, those are cool. It, it is a cool looking one, isn't it? Yeah. Really neat. But yeah, a lot of the paleo art is just all apart from this one here. Uh, what says two thousand and seventeen? Ooh, yeah. See that this is like what I think of when I hear Tujangasaurus. Mm. Yeah, but the majority of art, really, I, I quite mm. like this piece. This is quite nice. The majority of the artwork is this, and I think it's just another one of those where people are just uncertain by it. Yeah. So when you look at all the fossils of uh, the well, the reconstructions of the fossils, they don't actually have the, uh, the spike. Hmm. Interesting. So like, yeah, it it just looks like one of those things where they're, they're very uncertain by it. Hmm. But yeah, I love I love the spikes on the backs, the plates. They're great, aren't they? Yeah, I I remember there was um, there was a whole bunch of people 
who were debating about Maragaya with spikes as well, like way back when. I think it's really the one I was thinking of. I sat through a mm-hmm. lecture one time where the idea that Stegosaurus even had them was brought up. Oh, like there is apparently there is apparently a slim chance that that's true. We just don't know. Hmm. I wonder if they'd be reduced. I don't know. Well, they would have been though. relatively long. Yeah. Oh man, I'd love to see like a, a stegosaurid where there's multiple spikes coming out of its shoulder. Mm. It looks like almost like a porcupine. Shoulder checking. Cool. Shoulder checking allosaurus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, well. yeah, stegosaurids really had like everything going for them. They had the the under the neck armor. They had the shoulder plates, the back plates, the thagomizers. Allosaurus must have been like a monster of an animal for all of these stegosaurids to have the. I was going to say like Allosaurus is probably like the main reason to have been like so armored up like that. <laughs> Um, are you ready for the next one? Of course. Yes. I really I do ready. love this one. I really do. And I feel like I feel like you might get this quite quickly. D. Oh. Go on. Stegoris. Yes, it's Stegoris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me. You're gonna get that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Stegoris. Man. What a creature. I know. Um yeah. it's An- just... talk about an ankle breaker. Yeah. Oh yeah, no good. <laughs> it's basically it's like a tech sword on its tail. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, it is so oh cool. man, um, I watched the other day someone make one of these from scratch, like like a yeah. full on model of these, and they gave it so the tail was sticking up, a bit like how sometimes uh, little geckos will do that to try and scare off, uh, you know, predators. Yeah, it was stick the mm-hmm. tail. But, it was Kayaka, so cool. Kayakasaurus who did that video. I freaking love that video. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what made me inspired to try and make the compi. I was like watching it. I was yeah. like, I could, <laughs> I could give that a try. Have you seen him do like the little Anurognathus and all, all that? Yeah, that looks cool. Got, I've got, been watching huh? his videos a lot recently. Yeah, like a little little life-sized Anurognathus, and it's amazing. He, he does some awesome stuff. I'd That's definitely cool. try and make one of those and put like a, a magnet in it so you can like have it on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, uh, walk so, around a museum with that. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> just all of your um, all of your videos, it's just there, and you don't even bring it up or anything. It's just yeah, it's just there, just <laughs> present. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, I I have actually come up with an idea that I want to do. It's Ooh. it's going to be not as easy. I'm going to be picking some very unusual ones. You've told me that marine, prehistoric marine life is a bit of your weaknesses. Mm. Um, so I'm going to be I'm going to be picking out different marine creatures uh, for this one. I already have two ready lined up. I just need to figure out what I want as the third. I'm trying to narrow this down out of. Is it? I think I got. About thirty odd to pick from. I was trying to narrow it down to three. It's <laughs> all so just pliosaurids. Yeah, yeah. It's all it is. I mean, is it it's all it specifically? Is. is it specifically marine reptiles, or are you throwing in some proto whales? Specifically marine life. As a so whole. we got like broad like. Oh, so basically, okay. I might do it so it's Cambrian to the uh, Cenozoic. Because there's a ton, oh, that like, small feel... amount of time. You... Yeah, it, <laughs> it's three picks, so it'll be one animal from you know, oh, Cambrian Mesozoic. I might, might do Cenozoic. It might just end up being. It might just end up like not leave the Mesozoic. <laughs> but there is a lot of like interest in marine life, which I feel never really sees the light of day as such. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's going to be next week, everyone. Uh, I hope right. you enjoyed this. Uh, you did really well this week. You did really well. We actually kind of um, killed yeah. it this time. We kind of get good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two out, two out of three. Yeah, was discovered. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it went well. It went well. Yeah, a I lot think, of fun. I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you very much. <laughs>